friends, this is Ahmed Hamdi Tanpanar. I'm a poet, novelist, story writer and literature professor. You can call me the man who sets the clock because I've always had a great interest in time and dreams. I've included them in my works too. I was born in 1901 in Istanbul. I'm the third child of my family. My father, Kadı Hüseyin Fikri Efendi, originally came from Georgian family in Batumi. Due to my father's job as a Kadı, we lived in many cities such as Diyarbakır, Sinop and Antalya. One of my greatest childhood pleasures was playing on the seashore. I loved watching the waves on come in. We used to sleep on the roofs at night because it was very hot in the summer. It would make me very happy to watch the stars there. The other thing I loved as much as the stars were the books. I enjoyed reading and learning new things a lot. Then we settled in Antalya. I spent more time for reading while I was there. I loved reading magazines, books and poems. Yahya Kemal Beyatlı and Ahmed Hashim were the literary masters I was impressed with. I graduated from high school here. I was old enough to go to college now. I wanted to study philosophy or history. But when I learned that Yahya Kemal was teaching in the literature department, I enrolled in Istanbul University Faculty of Letters in 1919. Here, I was going to experience a period that would affect my life deeply. I made friends with important people such as Nurullah Atac and Hasan Ali Ujel. During the summer holidays, I used to go to Antalya with my family. While I was there, I was very impressed by the sea and nature, and I used to write poems. While continuing my education at university, a group of my literary friends and I published Delgah magazine under the leadership of our teacher Yahya Kemal. My first poem were published in this magazine. In 1923, I graduated from university and started to work as a teacher at Erzurum High School. At that time, our leader, Mustafa Kemal Atatürk, had come to Erzurum. I had opportunity to meet and talk to him. I was very impressed with him. I liked him even more. He was both a leader and a teacher. I learned a lot from him. In the following years, I continued teaching in different cities. One of them was in Ankara Boys High School. There, I taught important names such as Oktay Rifat and Orhan Veli, who became great writers and poets later. In 1939, I became a professor of literature at Istanbul University. It was very important for me to come this far, but I've never stopped writing. My first novel, Mahul Bester, was published in 1944. During these years, I was the Minister of National Education. Later, my novels such as Huzur and Beşşehir were also published. The theme of my novels is often on the concept of time. The event I mentioned in Huzur passes in 24 hours. Thus, in the novel, time remains within the limits as its protagonists tell what they remember. In this way, both the content and the technique of the work gain a different stylistic feature. In this art little I am I created the main theme of the novel by explaining time in an ironic language. It was my dream to travel Europe from an early age. I wanted to see and research there. I soon realized this dream. I went to countries such as France, England, Belgium, Netherlands and Italy. It was a great pleasure to visit the cities, streets and museums of important literary figures living there. After returning from there, I started writing my favourite novel, Saat Liri Ayalama Institute. Time is a hope. Time is an ambiguity. The one progressively declining. 
always restarting. If you leave your clocks unadjusted, your life will be unadjusted too. My completed work was published in 1961. This novel of mine, which was included in the world classics, was chosen as the book of the year by many institutions. For me, literature is one of the fine arts, just like music and painting. A language that describes people in life in a much more comprehensive way is used in literature. Literature enables us to express ourselves better and improves our ability to understand. It is the art of conveying feelings, thoughts and dreams to people in an effective and beautiful way. Dear children, if you like to think and write like me, you can be a good writer. I hope my life story has been an example for you. If you read one of my books one day, you will make me very happy. Do you have books in your life always? Don't you?